Jocelyn Jacks may have had a troubled childhood on General Hospital, but now that she's a teenager, things have gotten more complicated than ever before. The character actually made her first appearance as a teenager played by actress Jamie Lee Willett in a 2009 dream sequence that inspired a pregnant Carly to name her daughter Jocelyn John. John being the name shared by both her and Jax's fathers, after the child's birth, twins McKenna and Carly Larson played Joss until 2012, followed by Sarah Johnson and Paige Oliver. Hannah Nordberg joined GH as the new Jocelyn in 2014 for eight months, and in October of 2015, the girl was aged into a teen now played by Eden McCoy. The daughter of Carly Corinthus and Jasper Jax, Jocelyn was involved in drama right from the start when the villainess Claudia Zachara held Carly hostage and she ended up helping her give birth in the cabin where she was being held prisoner. Claudia intended to keep the infant for herself, but Michael Corinthus appeared and killed her, rescuing his baby sister. As a toddler, Joss was diagnosed with kidney cancer, and Carly insisted on finding a kidney donor for a transplant rather than put the little girl through the rigors of chemotherapy. Jason and Liz's son, Jake, had just died in a hit-and-run accident, and Carly was able to persuade Liz to help save her daughter's life. Carly and Jax were afraid they were going to lose their little girl. Howard Wise slash jbistudios.com But after Jocelyn recovered, Jax and Carly's marriage hit a breaking point and they divorced. Jax pursued custody, fearing his daughter's life would be in constant danger from Carly's involvement with mob boss Sonny. But Carly received full custody after Sonny framed Jax for drug possession. Jocelyn briefly became ill again when her uncle Jerry Jax injected her with an unknown substance that later was revealed to be an inoculation against the deadly pathogen he was planning to unleash into the Port Charles water supply. Such a thoughtful uncle, after she got better, the girl made frequent visits to visit Jax in Australia. Jocelyn kicked up quite a fuss when Carly tried to marry Franco. Howard Wise slash jbistudios.com When Joss returned to Port Charles, she was upset to find her mother dating Franco, who she believed was a dangerous psycho. The girl also developed a crush on Cameron Weber and worked to split up him and Emma Scorpio Drake with Spencer Cassidy's help. Joss was upset when her mother asked her to be the flower girl at her wedding to Franco, but delighted when they didn't end up tying the knot. Joss returned from Australia again in October of 2015 a little older and wiser and was the maid of honor at Carly's marriage to Sonny Corinthus. Joss was still worried about her mother because she was now old enough to understand exactly what Sonny does for a living. The teen was devastated when her brother, Morgan Corinthus, was killed in a car bomb, but happy when the tragedy pushed Carly away from Sonny and back into Jax's arms. Jocelyn was grateful to find out where her life-saving kidney had come from. XJ Johnson slash jbistudios.com However, it was revealed that Jax had arranged to purchase Nell Benson's kidney for Jocelyn back in the day. Turns out that Jack hadn't really died, so it couldn't have been his kidney she got, so a jealous Sonny had the Aussie arrested for organ trafficking and deported so Joss lost her dad again. It was bad when Joss clashed with her mother over her relationship with Sonny and her teenaged partying and dating new boyfriend Oscar Nero, but it got worse when Nell schemed to get Carly arrested and locked up in Ferncliff. Jocelyn was glad when her mother was released, but then her relationship with Oscar took a turn when he dumped her out of nowhere. She found a sympathetic shoulder to cry on in Cameron and enlisted him to pretend to be her boyfriend to make Oscar jealous. Unfortunately, Cam actually had genuine feelings for her and after a while came clean that Oscar was just pushing her away because he was dying of a brain tumor. 
Upset, Jocelyn returned to Oscar to be by his side as he underwent experimental treatment to save his life, but despite everyone's best efforts, the boy passed away. Jocelyn was heartbroken over losing Oscar and has struggled to get over it. And Sonny inviting Dev to stay with them complicated things further, as he soon became smitten with Jocelyn, going so far as to steal her journal to forge an entry to show Cameron to convince him to back off. Joss, Trina, Cam, and Dev all agreed to attend the school dance as friends, but during the evening, Joss and Cameron stole away to share a kiss. Jocelyn was later stunned when an explosion at the floating rib took Dev's life. Prom night was full of drama and heartbreak. ABC Although Jocelyn hoped to get into her first pick college, when she found out she'd been waitlisted, she eventually gave in and agreed to attend Port Charles University with Trina and get an apartment together. Stay tuned to see how Jocelyn's story continues. Add block test, why?